In this video, I will share a fix guide on the Xinput file. We will fix all major errors like your game not working after installing this mod, your game crashing, or if your game is showing some kind of error. I will share potential solutions that should fix all your problems with this mod. For those who do not know what this file is, or what it does, Xinput is basically an ASI loader file for Grand Theft Auto V Enhanced Edition, and it has two major usages in the game. Number one is that this mod pack helps load any ASI-based mods that you might have installed. For example, you can install this native trainer mod and this mod also requires the Xinput file. Number two, this mod pack also loads files from the mods folder and makes your mods fully functional with the game. Now I actually have a whole dedicated video on how to create a fully functional mods folder in GTA 5 Enhanced. You can watch this video on your screen to learn how to do that. In this same video, I did install the Xinput file, but I also shared a few more important things you need to do in order to make the mods folder work. So I highly recommend you watch this video. I will now share some possible fix methods if your game is not working or it's showing some kind of errors. I want you to pay attention to all of the methods, as you will also learn a few new things Things which you might not even know. Method 1. Clearing the game files. First, you need to open the game folder. Here are all the locations where you can find your game folder. Once you are here, you need to look for this cache file. If you find this file, you need to select and delete it from your game folder. Now run the game and see if that helps. In some cases, you should also try deleting the log files, and here is an example of that. So open your game folder and look for this ASI loader log file. Once you find it, select this file and delete it from your game folder. After doing this, run your game and see if that helps. Method 2. Compatibility issues. If your game is not working or it's showing any kind of error, then there is a possibility that the file you installed is not compatible with the game. So let's check that and fix this problem. First, let's check which Xinput file is compatible with your game. To check this, you need to open either the script hook v page from here or the game decides script hook v page. Once you are there, go to the download section. Do not worry, I will make this method very easy for you to understand. So follow what I say, or else you will disappear like my favorite superhero, Hitler the Great. Bruh. We will basically match our game version with the Xinput file's version. We do have version numbers in this tab, and in order to run the Xinput file in your game, you will have to match your game with a compatible version. So you need to open your game folder and look for this file from here. Once you find it, right-click on it and go to Properties. This will open up this box, and you need to select the Details tab from here. Now all you have to do is look for this product version from here, and you only need to check the last four numbers from here. This is basically our game version. Now, all you have to do is open the Game Decide page and download the script hook V version that matches the version of your game. In my case, we can go with this file, but yours might be different. And if you can't find your version in this list, that only means one thing. Your game is either too old. In that case, you will have to update your game from the Rockstar Games launcher. Now, I do understand there are so many people watching this video who have the internet version of the game. You guys can watch this video on your screen and update your game with the fix file I shared in this video. If you have an older version of the game, for example, the popular free version, you just need to install a script hook file that matches or is higher than your version. If your game recently updated, you'll have to wait a few days until script hook is updated. The reason I want you to install script hook is because the Xinput file you need actually comes with it. Here is the highlighted Xinput file in the script hook folder, and you can watch this video on your screen to learn how to properly install script hook in GTA 5 Enhanced. Method 3, an alternative fix. I will share an alternative file in a moment, but here is what you need to do if nothing is working. You just need to delete this Xinput file from your game folder, and also delete or move the mods folder from your game directory that required the Xinput file. Then you need to wait a few more days until script hook is updated. Now for the alternative fix. You guys can watch this video on your screen to learn how to install ASI Loader Enhanced. This video is very helpful, as I also shared alternatives to the Zinput file, and even explained more on how this mod pack works. I will now share one more method to fix your game while keeping the Zinput file. Method 4. The blocking problem. There are two things you need to keep in mind when you install the Zinput file. Number one is that you need to make sure you download this mod from a very trusted site such as the Script Hook V official site or other trusted sites like GameDecide.com, GTA 5 Mods website, or any other website that is old and has a good reputation. Number two, you will have to disable your BattleEye program in order to use the Xinput file in story mode, and you can watch this video on your screen to learn how to safely do just that. At the same time, do keep in mind you cannot use any mods in GTA Online unless you are using Rockstar's 5M servers. Only that allows modding in multiplayer, but even that is somewhat limited. Alright guys, if you have a question, feel free to write in the comment section, and I also request you guys to 
to join membership on my channel, as this will not only support the channel, you will also get access to a few of my premium videos. I will be posting new cool videos soon for my members. Please leave a like, subscribe, and maybe watch this video on your screen.